Welcome back to Will It Shoe. Whether on Elvis Presley in Blue Hawaii or on Jim Carrey's Ace Ventura, the item destined for shoedom this week is certified iconic. Yes, in this episode, we'll be making shoes out of a Hawaiian shirt. The exact story of its origin has now sadly been lost to time, but records suggest that the Aloha shirt was first seen in Hawaii in the 20s or 30s, likely crafted by Japanese women who adapted kimono fabric for use in men's shirting. Brought over to mainland USA, the brightly colored shirts were a big hit at the time and slowly started to seep their way into popular culture where its place in history was cemented. The shirt we're using today is 100% rayon, which despite technically being a natural material being wood pulp, requires a resource and chemical heavy process to make, often and creating toxic byproducts. All in all, a little bit nasty. There have been slight advancements with rayon, which also goes by tensile, modal, lyocell, etc. And the best versions of these fabrics operate in a closed loop system, keeping the contaminants out of the ecosphere. But it's time to see if the Hawaiian shirt can become Hawaiian shoes and send it off to the workshop. <laughs> They look great. Looks like they might have suffered from a similar fate to some other materials we've used where they just don't quite adhere to the backing properly. So, you know, they're like a little bit creased there. It's not even that, it's that we were too lazy to iron them before we started. <laughs> I was just about to talk about how the material didn't adhere to the backing properly, but I've actually just been informed it's because uh, they were too lazy to iron them before they started making them. So that one's on the workshop. That one I'm not happy about. Not that I have any authority to be unhappy about anything. But that aside, I think they do look really cool. I think you could get a, get a matching pair of shorts out of the material that was left in the shirt. I think that pretty much describes them almost perfectly. If anything, for me, the material does feel like a bit thin, like especially compared to the, the leather shoes that I'm used to with this. Uh, obviously we've got the little leather lining, but it's like the, the, the outer material does feel a bit meh. They don't feel like a, a premium shoe. Um, and that is purely to do with the material choice. I think they look pretty cool. I think they look better than the shirt looked, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not particularly a one for bold patterns and colors as you might have noticed with what I tend to wear on here, but subscribe. Yeah. 